Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to connect to the Anthropic Claude API in Airtable using the Data Fetcher extension without needing any code. So in order to begin, we are going to set up our products table just like so. We've titled the table as products. For the name field, we have inputted the products that we would like to work with. And then we've also retitled the default notes field to description. Now it's time to create a new grid view. So over to the left hand side, we have this grid option here. Select the plus symbol and retitle this as needs description. Select create new view and now it's time to add some conditions to this new grid view. So up here where it says filter in the menu bar we're going to select add condition twice and we want for this to read where name is not empty from that drop down menu and description is empty just like so. Now select off of that and you will see that this is now highlighted in green. Great so we set up the table this way so that the product captions will generate later using the Airtable Claude integration move records out of this view. So now it's time to get started with Anthropic. In order to begin, you will need to sign up for an Anthropic developer account, which is really simple, and you do get $5 free credit for using the API by verifying your phone number or adding billing details. So once we arrive to this page, after you've set up your account, you want to select the Get API Keys. Then you're going to create a key right here in the right hand corner, and then you're going to title this key. So I'm going to title this as API key, just like so, nice and simple. And from the workspace, we're going to select default. Select create key and copy this key over and paste it into a safe place for later. Now it's time to add the data fetcher extension. So head back over to your Airtable base, select extensions in the top right hand corner, select add an extension. And then again, in this top right hand corner, you will see a search input bar. Here we're going to search for data fetcher, just like so, and that will pop up, select add, and then select add extension. Now we'll arrive to the following screen where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now we'll arrive to the following screen and this is where we create our first request. So select that big blue button and under application we are going to search for Anthropic and it comes up right at the top. Then we're going to rename the request to fetch product captions just here, just like so. Then under authorization you want to paste your Anthropic API key in this input box, just like so. For the endpoint select create create a message from this drop down menu in order to use the Airtable Claude integration. Then select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. We'll arrive to the following screen. So under model, we want for this to read Claude 3.5 Sonnet and that will come up automatically. Next, we're going to give Claude the instructions for generating social media captions just under here in the messages input box. So here we're going to input generate an Instagram caption for, then we're going to complete the phrase above by referencing the products in the table. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this plus symbol, select that. And in the dialog that opens, you'll have your table automatically selected. And under field, we're going to select name. And then for run for every record in view, we want to have this selected as needs description. Now select confirm to save this. And you should now see the following text with the name field referenced in the message. Now I'm just going to add a full stop here, add a space. Now we're going to need a longer piece of text to paste in here. I really recommend that you just head over to our datafetcher.com website and check out the blog on this exact topic and you're going to scroll down until you find the following piece of information that we want to copy and paste into that input box just to speed up this process. So you'll find that here. Once you have this copied, we're going to paste this now into our input box just like so. And now we're going to select the enter button. Just as a little tip, adding extra details to your messages will enable Claude to generate more accurate content for your use case. So as you can see here, we've added use a playful and quirky brand voice. Caption should be engaging and include a call to action. Max length 200 characters, return just the caption, no extra text. So that is a really specific prompt for Claude. So with this request set up, we're going to import the response data from the Claude API into our table. So now it's time to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Now we'll arrive to the response field mapping. On this screen, you can configure and import fields from the response data in your Airtable. So this response contains just the one single field message, which will map to the description field. So we're going to map this to the existing field and from this drop down menu, select description. Then you'll select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And you can see this request is now running and you can close this little window over and head back over to your grid view. And here you can see that for those products, you now have a description for each of those created through the Anthropic Claude API. And that information has been brought through to your Airtable using the Data Fetcher extension. So this is amazing, but at the moment we would need to manually run this request for any additional names that we input here to generate that description. Instead, you can make this happen automatically by using the triggers feature on Data Fetcher
Extra's upgraded account. So if you head over to your extensions option up here in the top right hand corner, this will pop open immediately and bring you back to that request that you have already created. Open that up and now we're going to scroll down until we see these options here, schedule, trigger and webhook URL. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do in order to have all of your requests run automatically without you having to do a thing. So once you have upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you can head back here to this step and you will now see this like so. We're going to select the trigger tab and then we're going to select authorize. Here, select I understand, let's authorize. And data fetcher is requesting Airtable access. So we want to select add a base and then select all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces. Now we are selecting this so that we only have to do this one single time. So select grant access. Then we want to select run this request when record created from the table, select products and from the view, select needs description. Then select save in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can close this window over. So now you know when you add a new product under the field name, the description will automatically be created. So hopefully today you have learned how to connect to the Anthropic Claude API in Airtable using the Data Fetcher extension. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where, like I mentioned before, we do have this full blog on this exact topic for you to learn this way as well if you prefer to do so. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.